IED students on the model train, mini train project. The next thing to do is to assemble this train with the track and then hopefully we can drive it on the train track and make it move. So the first thing you have to do is have your fully assembled train with all 12 parts assembled. You open up the IAM file, the assembly file .iam. And then what you're going to do is do a click on the I button. You have to save as. You want to save as. We want to save this as assembly train last name with track. You have two assembly files, one without the track for the parts list, and then one with the track to make it move. As you can see, in order to make the parts list, you have to have every part made and then create the assembly and then create the IPN file. And then you tweak it, you explode it, and then you make the documented parts list with balloons. This is the next step where we're going to drive it on the track. Next thing you need to open is the track part IPT. As you can see, this is the track piece I made. I will share it with you when appropriate. If you make your own track, you earn 10 exceeding expectations points. Like so. Sorry, a little glitch. Remember, in order to get to this point, you have to have all 12 parts made. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You have to assemble all 12 parts in assembly world, IAM world. You have to make a IPN file where you tweak it or explode it, where you see all the parts. And then the parts list is where you get another 50 points. It looks like so. Right, you blow it up. You have to balloon it professionally. There's some bad balloons here. Some good balloons over here. Straight line balloons are bad. To get to here, it's 100 points. 40 for the assembly. 10 for tweaking. Basically, this is 50 to make a professional looking document. With all 12 balloons and the author column. Remember, this is a previous video. It's called Partsless Creation on our channel. Let's go back to Assembly World. We are here. We have Assembly Train Last Name with Track. Our train body still pinned. What you're going to do is place one track part into this Assembly Track Part 13. If I give it to you, it is called Track Part 13. You're going to drop one in there. Right click. Okay, so you have one track piece. You can move this track piece over here. Remember, you cannot move the train because it's pinned. That's good. What you need to do next is you need to pin the track parts. Ground the track part. This only works if you ground the track part. And then we unground the train body. Unground the train body. Now you can move the train every which way, okay, but now you cannot move the track, the track is pinned, okay, so, to do this, let's put in another second piece of track, track part 13, put it right here, right click, okay, so we need to constrain mate mate flush this piece of track so it's right here in space. Knowing the skill to do this will help us with the skill of the train. Okay, so we're only pinning one track part. The second part has to be mate mate flush to this. So let's use common sense. We want the top of this track to line up with the top of this track. That is a flush. Constrain flush top with top. You hit OK. So if you notice, this track piece will always be at the same level as this. We can't move it up and down, but we can move it side to side. That's good. 
we can move it this way too. So if you think about it, we want to put glue this little rectangle part here with this rectangle part of the other track. So we're going to mate, constrain mate this side with, let's rotate it around with this. We're going to mate because we want to put glue there. You did okay. So now this track can only move side to side here. I always ask you guys, tell me when to stop, tell me when to stop, stop. Which constraints should we use here to line up this side of the track with that side of the track? It's not a mate because we see both sides, it is a flush, just like Puzzle Cube. Flush that with that. We are in business because now this track does not move. The house. Okay, now this train can move. This piece cannot move, this piece cannot move. Okay, so we're, we're doing good. We need to put this train on the track. So, first thing we're gonna do, remember this is just a model, we need to put this on the track where the top of the track piece and the bottom of the train are touching. So, since that's touching, that is a mate constraint mate bottom of the train with the top of the track okay hit okay what i want you to do next is actually hit the plus sign on relationships okay Th this tells the story of what we're doing with the train So now this train is facing the wrong direction. We want to flush the side of the track, the side of the train. This tells you what direction it's going to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to flush, train flush, the side of the track with, I like saying left side of the train. Look on that side, zoom in, it's going to turn, and we're in business. Hit OK. Now this train should only move side to side like so. Um, See ya. I know, that's my bad. I, I will. I just don't want to be able to stop it. All right, I apologize for the glitches. Here we go. We've done two constraints on this train. Right now it only slides this way. And obviously we need to offset a couple of these. That's why I want you to hit the plus sign on the relationships because this mate is the top of the track to the bottom of the train. This flush is the side of the train with the um, side of the train with the side of the track. The last thing we need to do is flush, constrain, flush, the back of the train with this back little flat part of the track. So there you go. You hit OK. And we're good. That flush, make sure you see it, that flush, this flush is highlighted here, flush. We're gonna right click, we're gonna hack in there. Oh, we're gonna rename this if you can. Right click, like single left click. See how it's highlight flush, flush seven? Drive, all caps, drive, train. This is the most important one, drive, train, all caps. That flush, we're renaming it drive, train. Just hack in there and click it. Now let's look at this flush. This flush is over here. There's an offset number here. You need to do some math. So you need to slide it over. Oh, negative one. See how this offset, you slide it over? 
25. I'm going to look at my track part, find the width of the track. Right, the width of this track is 3.4. The width of the train is 2. So this flush, we need a 0.7 offset. Now, for me, it's negative 0.7 offset. Then this train will be exactly centered on the track. See right there, right? Now, this mates, mates the bottom of the track with the top of the track to the bottom of the train. We also need to offset this. You double click. You have a number here. You need to raise this up. Like you, you determine how high you want it raised up, whatever you feel is appropriate. See if you raise it up one inch, that's too high. Like you just want barely the bottom of the wheels touching the track. Sorry. So there's a little space right there. You can lower it some more. Just guessing. That looks good. I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly touching. It's just a model, right? So there you go. The train is on the track. You should be able to spin the wheels. That is the first step in making the train move. This is train assembly with track. Remember, you need to save as this file as train assembly with track. Thanks for your time.